George Thomas Morgan was the chief engraver of the United States Mint from 1917 to 1925 and is known for designing many popular coins such as the reverse of the Columbian Exposition half dollar, the reverse of the McKinley Birthplace Memorial gold dollar, as well as a never released $100 gold union coin. Although none of these coins have a more interesting history than his namesake coin, the Morgan Silver Dollar. At the height of the bimetallism movement in 1877, Congress was deliberating the use of silver in addition to gold as the standard. Simultaneously, the demand for a new silver dollar came from the Comstock Lode in Nevada, which had excavated massive quantities of silver. The mint director, Henry P. Linderman, directed his chief engraver, William Barber, and his assistant, George T. Morgan, to create designs for a new silver dollar separately, and the best design would prevail. The mint director, supposedly dissatisfied with Barber's work as chief engraver, rigged the contest in Morgan's favor, and Morgan's design won. You win! For his design, Morgan enlisted a Philadelphia school teacher, Anna Willis Williams, to model for his depiction of Miss Liberty. A left-facing portrait head of Liberty is featured on the coin's obverse, with a somewhat gaunt eagle depicted on the back, giving the Morgan its nickname, Buzzard Dollar. In an unprecedented move, Morgan initialed each side of the design with an M. Shortly after its first minting, critics noted the Morgan Eagle mistakenly had eight tail feathers instead of seven, and therefore some 1878 coins may depict either, with seven feathers being the rarer. The Morgan Silver Dollar was first minted from 1878 to 1904, and again in 1921. Following the passage of the Bland-Allison Act in 1878, which required the U.S. Treasury to purchase a specified amount of silver to be circulated as silver dollars, this created a scenario in which Morgan dollars were quickly stockpiled in the Treasury and bank reserves. It's reported that over half a billion Morgan coins were struck between 1878 and 1921. Most of the output came from the original mint facility in Philadelphia, while Carson City, New Orleans, and San Francisco sites also struck these coins. Carson City ended production when it closed its doors in 1893, later making those minted there a valuable commodity among numismatists due to their rarity. Even after minting ended in Carson City, the vault there stored millions of Morgans, which were transferred to Washington in 1900 and kept sealed. Later, in 1921, the Denver Mint also produced Morgan dollars. With tens of millions of coins minted in a particular year alone, Morgan dollars continued to be one of the most widely circulated silver bullion today. Containing 90% silver and 10% copper, they can be easy to buy and sell at lower prices. Though Morgan dollars are often close to the spot price of silver while the rarely minted, high-grade versions of these coins can sell for thousands of dollars. Ignored in circulation, but lauded in investment markets, the Morgan Silver Dollar is one of the most famous and sought-after American coins in existence, which makes it perfect for a beginning collector or as an addition to any level of silver holding. If you're looking to learn more, we at the United States Gold Bureau are here to help. Just contact a precious metal specialist at 800-775-3504 or head on over to usgoldbureau.com. Thanks for watching.